wives of India, I am Janvi. Well, Gujarat elections are just around the corner. And to keep you updated with the political drama going on in the state, we have started a special segment called Bole Che Gujarat 2022. This is the second episode of this special segment. And today, we are going to discuss about BJP in Gujarat. We have with us uh, the founder of Wives of India, Deepal Trivedi. And to start with, what do you have to say about the political campaign of BJP in Gujarat? Okay, uh, BJP has launched its campaign. Hmm. BJP is very particular about whatever work it does. Hmm. So, even the campaign launch, launch has been very smooth. Yeah. In fact, BJP was much ahead of Congress and Amadmi Party when it came to launching its yeah. election campaign. And uh, unlike other parties, BJP is focusing on what good it has been doing for Gujarat. Yeah. And the BJP campaign is just about highlighting how under the visionary leadership of now Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Bodhi, Gujarat has made some very good strides in various segments. So the Gujarat BJP campaign is very impactful. Yeah. And it is said in Gujarat that when nothing works in the state, Modi hmm. works. Do you think that the charisma and leadership of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi is essential uh, to win Gujarat elections 2022? It is not essential mm. because uh, Gujarat as such, mm. as we have seen since last so many years, is inclined towards voting for BJP. Mm. So I would not say that Mr. Modi's, you know, yes. is essential, yeah. right? Of course, he is the most towering personality and uh, it is jocularly said EVM that yeah. You know, everyone votes for, votes Modi, for Modi in mm -hmm. Gujarat. So, yes, uh, Mr. Modi is very much on the mind of every voter who casts or wants to cast mm. her or his vote for the BJP. But uh, to say that uh, Mr. Modi is needed yeah. is for the BJP to win, I think would be undermining the leadership and the work that Mr. Modi has done in Gujarat. It's still very much there in public memory. So, Mr. Modi does not need to remind Remember. Gujarat. Yeah. Right? Gujarat remembers it. Yeah. And, but still, he keeps on coming to Gujarat. And on his last visit, uh, it was at Banas Dairy where he inaugurated a couple of projects. But here, what do you have to say about the way BJP mobilizes and uses cooperative societies to uh, get their vote share? See, in a democracy, elections are very crucial. Even cooperatives have their own election pattern. Okay. After uh, Mr. Amit Shah, our Union Home Minister, also took charge of the Ministry of Cooperatives, uh, there was a mandate that if it's a BJP person in a particular cooperative, they have to vote as per the party, party mandate. Member. This was the first time this step was taken mm -hmm. because in the past, even... Uh, like the biggest cooperative of the world, mm. which is Amul, right, yeah. was there. And uh, this is during uh, when Congress was in power. So, it, But still, uh, there you, uh, like, you know, the people who were in power, uh, like these were Congress MLAs yes. who did not side with Congress, Congress during cooperative elections. But now things have drastically changed. So there is mobilization of cooperatives. Yeah. by different political Pol parties, parties. Not because there BJP. are still the, cooperatives yeah. which are uh, you know under or run by mm -hmm. congress supporters mm -hmm. or there are banks but uh, since bjp has uh, in the last year and a half bjp has been able to have more than 300 cooperatives under their the umbrella. umbrella and with this new mandate of uh, cooperatives or cooperative leaders belonging to BJP having to vote for BJP, BJP. Uh, the BJP is mobilizing Singapore. and uh, you earlier mentioned about Prime Minister Modi visiting Visit. Gujarat. Yeah. See this shows how serious the BJP is. Yeah. How you disciplined, know? organized the parties. You nailed it. See because you know BJP is very serious. 
even if it's a municipality election or a nagar palika yeah. election bjp shows the same seriousness yeah. uh, often people outside gujarat do not realize it but bjp has been like this since at least since 2001 hmm. when bjp has taken every election with utmost seriousness yeah. So it is not surprising that Prime Minister Modi chooses to visit Gujarat frequently. And uh, recently the portfolios of cabinet ministers Rajendra Trivedi and Purnish Modi were taken away saying that they were inefficient. What do you have to say about this? Like is the government really trying to you know cover up by bringing uh, giving portfolios to other ministers or you know like wh what do you think on, on this step of BJP? Yes recently two uh, cabinet, ministers cabinet ministers in Gujarat, yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they were stripped off of their the portfolios. portfolios. One was the Re revenue, revenue portfolio and yeah. the other one was roads, and, uh, roads road and buildings. buildings yeah. Right now, uh, in both these cases, hmm. see, it's the BJP as such is going to have maximum number of seats in yeah. Gujarat. Right? So, it is just our second episode. Yeah. But we are very clear that whatever happens, yeah. BJP is going to have maximum number of seats, seats. in Gujarat. Irrespective of? Yeah. Irrespective of all other parties mm. or even the Aam Admi Party getting mm. into fray with utmost seriousness. Serious. And the Congress not bad mm. when it comes to ground level workers in Gujarat, Gujarat. especially rural and entire three mm. cities. But BJP prevails. Yeah. Right. So this stripping off of portfolios, portfolios of these two senior cabinet ministers, the BJP, why did it do it? Mm. See, because BJP is bothered about bothered about the its Im perception, mm. its, its image. image yeah. So unlike what happened in the past government, that is, I'm talking of the past mm. BJP government only, which was led by Vijay Rupani. Mm. Right, corruption had become a very major issue, issue, which compelled the BJP High Command not just to replace Vijay Rupani but to replace the entire and cabinet. cabinet. Yeah. This was the first time in the history of that the India entire cabinet was, that the entire yeah. cabinet was replaced, yeah. and it was a very smooth replacement. Hmm. In this case, there are only two portfolios. Yeah. Right? And there have been uh, complaints about I would not just say inefficiency on part of ministers. ministers. There have been uh, there had been complaints of corruption as well yeah. because last night uh, one, of one of the, the personal yeah, assistants, Premal Modi, has been uh, nabbed by CBI. CBI yeah. Right? He was associated with one of these ministers based in Varadra in Gujarat, Gujarat. and was uh, more uh, he was known for his lajning yeah. and you know doing work on mm. commission. And promising people that he would get things done and files moved in yeah. the corridors of power in Gujarat. So I think it is the people of Gujarat take this very positively, the stripping of portfolios. Because the general impression is that Prime Minister Modi still has a soft corner for his home state of Gujarat. Gujarat. And he obviously does not want hmm. and you know any hunky dory stuff Stop. happening in his home state yeah. number one number two when uh, prime minister modi was the chief minister of gujarat the, the general perception is that he was totally non-corrupt the administration and governance was, was very smooth. smooth so the present government also is trying to walk the same talk yeah but it has seen time and again that uh, what uh, the current government would do is like when people are inefficient, say during COVID, uh, the, the the whole cabinet was changed, new people were brought in and now again the same thing. There is only changes in the faces, but on the ground level, on the organization level, nothing changes. Like do we assume that when the revenue portfolio is given to other ministers, there will be no corruption or do we assume that when the roads portfolio is given to another minister, uh, the roads uh, will be just fine. I mean, do you think that these are just changes in the faces which the government does? See, but then these were the faces which indulged in, indulged in some wrong some wrongs, wrongs, right? Yeah. So it was imperative that these faces are replaced, replaced by someone. Some. 
Yeah. So, uh, like I would not agree when you say that if things won't change, change. if faces are removed, because yeah. in this case, the faces were problems. problems. Okay. Right? So, if a malignancy is done by a person. A, so, hmm. it's the person. So, yeah. that person has hmm. to be removed. Yeah. And another strategic uh, decision that the government has taken is also about bringing the old season players back, be it uh, Nitin Patel or Vijay Rupani. Do you think that now BJP is finally realizing that they do need these players to win Gujarat elections 2022? Uh, like, I'm surprised at your question because uh, these people were always there. Yeah. It's not that they were not there and they've been roped in yeah. recently. They were very much there. And unlike other political parties, yeah. right? You don't uh, need a designation maybe to work in BJP? It's their commitment towards the party. party. Even if they're stripped off as uh, from the position as the chief minister of Gujarat, hmm. I can bet upon it that Mr. Rupani would be okay to even contest an election as a corporator in Rajkot. Yeah. Right? This is not to undermine hmm. a person, but this is to highlight hmm. how uh, the BJP is conditioned. Yeah. Like uh, they, with the BJP leaders always say that they do not believe in individual worship yeah. and for them and uh, the party is bigger than an individual. This is in the DNA of all party members and I think that's the strength especially of the, party. the senior ones I would say mm. who come after years of toiling mm. of years of groundwork mm. in the past. past so they have this that they are more focused on the party mm. rather than you know nurturing any self interest interest true um, at this current moment what do you think is the biggest challenge for BJP in Gujarat Despite the fact that this is the home ground of BJP. Okay. Uh, if you would want me to say that Amadmi Party is the biggest challenge <laughs> for the BJP. <laughs> in Bole Gujarat 2022, 20, I would say that yeah. yes, BJP has a very proactive approach yeah. when it comes to any opposition. Okay. And especially when Amadmi Party is uh, so much on the ground yeah. and proving itself to be a very formidable opposition. Yeah. But as such, uh, I think BJP does not face any, any major challenges. challenges. But then as you know, in politics, things can change within 24 hours yeah. or 24 seconds or 24 nanoseconds, nanoseconds. for that matter. Better. So, we cannot, so we cannot say it as a final and you know, some sort of a foolproof sentence okay. of that BJP has no challenges. As of now, hmm. I don't see the BJP in Gujarat facing any, any challenges. Challenge. Yeah, but it's very secure as a party, as a government, as an organization. And that, uh, like, does that mean that there are no issues? Then I would say no. Hmm. There is unemployment, right. there is a soaring price right. rise. You know, there are s several issues which bothers the common person. Yeah. But because be of lack of any strong opposition, yeah. The BJP sits in a very comfortable position. Hmm. And though the Ahmadmi party... It's has started, you know, doing some concrete ground level work. I don't think mm -hmm. so far it has upset the BJP's apple yeah, cart. As much. But recently when Arvind Kejriwal was in Gujarat, he openly stated that BJP is terrified of Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, but do you think that Aam Aadmi Party in any way is going to cut in the seeds that uh, BJP might secure? I would not say that the Aam Aadmi Party would just dent into the BJP hmm. vote bank. It may even dent into the Congress, Congress vote bank. And you know, if we look at Aam Aadmi Party's record, hmm. uh, Aam Aadmi Party started working very concretely hmm. in Punjab from hmm. say 2015. Yeah. But in 2017 elections, Aam Aadmi Party had uh, only 17 seats hmm. in Punjab. Punjab. Right? But, and then in 2022, they formed, formed their government. Formed, yeah. They got 88 plus seats. So, so it, this is a beginning for Aam Aadmi Party. Party. So they have a long way to go and work. Not a, yeah, yeah. a long way. So when Aam, uh, when Mr. Arin, Arvind Kejriwal, mm. uh, the statement mm. you say, it, if yeah. I have to repeat that, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal I'll said say that, that uh, uh, BJP is terrified of Aam Aadmi Party. Party. 
uh, maybe I would not use the word terrified, mm. but I would say that the BJP has taken very strong notice mm. about the growing clout of yeah. Ahmadmi Party in Gujarat, mm. and that is why there's so much happening at this okay. point of time yeah. for Gujarat elections election. because Gujarat elections 2022. Mm. This is for the first time in several decades that. That, that there are more political parties in fray, in fray yeah. rather than uh, BJP and Congress. Mm. Traditionally, Gujarat has opted for a two-party system, system only, where there are just two parties in fray. It's either this or that. Yeah. But now we see Ahmadmi Party. We see BJP. even Mr. Oasis' visits yeah. have increased considerably. So the Muslim vote and the latest party by Shankar Singh. Shankar yes. Vaghela. Shankar Vaghela also, like I admire his, uh, you know, his, I don't know what word to use, but I would, I would say I admire his um, guts. guts. Yeah. He's 80 plus. And openly saying about like uh, liquor also, like allowing liquor in Gujarat if the party comes to power. Uh, yeah. But then we know that his party is not going to get <laughs> into power. Definitely. But let us see if uh, Shankar Vaghela, you know, has a truce with... His either of his, the former, former parties, parties, whether yeah. uh, he has been with, whether it's the BJP or Congress, Congress. and Mr. Wakela, I don't know if he'll play a proactive role yeah. uh, in, in the, the government, government, next government that is formed in Gujarat. Yeah, in Gujarat. So there are lots of players, players to this time. But currently, while BJP is paying attention to at least Amadi party, do you think it is considering Congress is inconsequential? Like, uh, it's, hmm. it's not uh, making any noise. It's not uh, on ground currently. Congress in Gujarat is in a very peculiar position. Uh, I am really amazed by the workers that the party has. Okay. But I have no love lost for any of the party leaders who I feel has failed the party cadre. Right? Uh, the... Congress leaders in Gujarat are very self-serving. They are not organized maybe. There is too much of conflicts going on in the party. Yeah. Intra-party conflict is a major issue, issue that the Congress faces. But their workers are people. We cannot, you know, ignore them. Like even in Ahmedabad, look at uh, people like Dr. Manish Doshi. There are hundreds of them or hundreds of Dr. Manish Doshis across Gujarat, Gujarat. who have not seen power yeah. since last, since uh, 1995, Congress, not, since 1990, yes, Congress have, has not been in uh, the position so, to form a government, government on its own, with a slight exception in 1997, when they supported uh, the Rashtriya Janta Party led by Shankar Si Vakila. Uh -huh. And gave, gave outside support to the government. The Congress has not been in power Powers. since 1994. So what would motivate a person, person to be with the Congress is a question. True. But still there are hundreds of workers. Yeah. And that is pretty commendable. Um, uh, what do you have to say? Like Any concluding remarks on BJP in Gujarat? BJP in hmm. Gujarat is very secure. In fact... Uh, you know, this is one state, it's a traditional bastion of the BJP. It remains uh, very strong, it's unshakable, BJP in Gujarat. Yeah. And, you know, it's, they're not even, though they are so secure, they don't live in this misconception that they are yeah. not... Uh, yeah. Replaceable. Replace. They uh, they believe, they seem to believe they that they are irreplaceable. So they are in a spirit to fight back yeah. and give a very befitting and a very strong fight to whatever the size of the opposition okay. is. True. Uh, thank you for your answers and uh, for more such discussions, for more such interviews, keep watching our special segment, Bole Che Gujarat 2022. Thank, thank you. you.